My mind is racing once again with this difficult decision. My brother's cancer has worsened, and I am the only one in the family who has the opportunity to visit him in Mexico. I was able to visit him last year with advanced parole, but the circumstances have changed since Trump came into office. It is no longer safe to travel. I want nothing more than to be with my brother during his last moments. He doesn't insist, but I know he wants to be able to hold me one last time. It had been a year since my last visit. I was only able to spend 13 days with him, and it had not been sufficient. Despite getting my documents ready to apply for advanced parole once again, the stories of deportations on the news stirred fear inside me. What if I can't make it back? What if I become another story on the news of yet another dreamer who gets deported? I shake my head in an attempt to shake off the fear. I was willing to risk everything to see my brother, to hold his hand, but there was only so much I could do for him at this point. He was not going to get better. I never allowed my immigration status to make me feel powerless, but in this moment, I felt trapped. Trapped in a place I call home, but I'm not welcome. Trapped because my so-called home would not allow me back in once I stepped out. My brother knew this all too well. Together, we were forced to accept defeat, knowing there was nothing more for us to do, but only hope we can meet again in another life with no borders. <laughs>